Hello! Hi! Oh my god! I realized last month but then completely forgot about it. I uploaded my first video last month a year ago. So basically I've been on YouTube for a year and I was planning on doing something special but then I decided not to because Anyway, I thought, why don't we like watch some of my old videos and rate them or just watch my first video? I don't know. You know what? Let's just go right into it and let's just watch it. My first video ever was my Jenny solo cover. I posted it on the 13th of November. So a month ago, a year and a month ago, that's it. Hi, I'm Johnny. This is my first YouTube video. It's a cover of Jenny's first solo song, Solo. Way to make it more confusing, but okay. Sorry for bad pronunciation, lol. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> mood. And then I tagged my Instagram because mood. Oh my god, I remember when posting this. It's got 151 comments. 52,000 views. What can I do? You know, I'm so famous. Joking. Just joking. But I remember when doing this, I like hid it from basically everyone until I posted it. And I was like, please go watch it. So that's fun. Also, I remember my friend telling me like a couple months ago that it was only recently she realized that I actually gaining followers because she thought I was like buying and faking views. <laughs> And subscribers for like for like literally nine months of my whole entire YouTube career So that's fun for me one thing I have to say it's been a year and I've got over 180,000 subscribers I'm like beyond grateful for that. I never thought that that would happen I thought by a year I'd have at least like 10,000 15,000 I was like hoping for that but the fact that I've got 180,000 is actually mind-blowing and shocking to me. It's honestly crazy So I just want to say thank you first of all for you know watching me, I guess. Thank you for subscribing and coming to watch my videos. Let's get into this video and let's actually watch it. I love that for me. Oh, look how moody it is. I've got that spotlight on me. Also, why is the quality of like my first video better than like all my videos now? Yeah, it was only till my um Snapping. cover. I was basically hiding behind the mic and everyone was like, why are you hiding? I didn't know the lyrics in Korean. But yeah, so this is the first video where I really don't know what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying in any of the videos, to be honest, but pop off. I had like no subscribers, so <laughs> it's a thing. I feel like... When you just start out on YouTube, you don't want to be out there fully because it's kind of... I don't know, it's just you feel embarrassed because mainly your viewers are going to be people that know you. And then if you don't have any backing, they're just going to be like, Oh my god, he's so confident. <laughs> he looks so stupid. And that's like your kind of fear. But then as soon as you start kind of gaining some subscribers and views, then it kind of goes out the window. Used to put the English translation underneath. Don't do that anymore. That takes up too much time. And also, who needs it? You can just search online, go on a genius thing or something. Okay, let's carry on. Honestly, I have to say this video is so close to my heart because I posted it. It was my first video I've ever posted, like seriously on YouTube. Not taking my homemade trailers one two three four account i like the cover a lot probably because it was my first video wow in this whole video you could literally just take a screenshot and then just put it there because i'm just behind the mic you can't even see me moving so could have done that but i didn't sitting on your feelings i'm sitting on my throne i ain't got no time for the troubles in your eyes it's time i'm only looking at me myself and i going solo you know Humble beginnings, humble roots. Just know where you came from. This is where I came from. Jenny Solo. Love that for me. Oh, she came out. Oh, she popped her eye out. Not lit. I mean, it's not bad at all. I would, I would, <laughs> but I always find when I'm watching my old covers, like, I think of how I would change something, and I definitely would ch change a lot in that part particularly. I, mm. I remember how <laughs> I felt so professional when doing this when I got one of the chudum and I replaced it with another, so it's like sounds perfect. And I was like, oh my god, I'm such a professional music engineer. Look at me. Anyway, that was my first cover. That was my first video actually, and. It's a, it's a hard thing to explain like how I feel about it. I really like it though. Let's look at my oldest comment though. My 
My first three comments were from people I knew. My first comments were my best friend, Amelie, and she put three hearts and then superstar. The third comment was my dad, of course. I'm surprised he wasn't the first. Oh my god, my eyes keep watering. I'm not crying. I thank my family. I'm a mess. I still think it stands pretty well today, I guess. Um, I don't hate it. We can listen to one of my terrible covers now. I think I have it on private. I deleted one because it was so bad and I didn't want anyone to see it and I still had it up. So I deleted one, which is my CLC No cover because that was beyond bad. Here's one of my terrible covers. Oh, it's unlisted. It's my Itsy Dala Dala cover. First of all, the problem with this cover is I took the Genius lyrics and at the time, for some reason, which is a great thing, thank you Genius, is that um, when they were the Genius official lyrics that were posted, they were actually not right, they were completely wrong, but obviously I read it and I thought, yeah, let's do this, and I did it the same day as it came out, and then basically all the comments are like, this part's wrong and this part's wrong, this part's wrong, and I'm like, fair, because it was wrong. I wish I just went on something else. That's why I barely use Genius lyrics now, because they always like update it after, because they get it wrong a lot. Thank you, Genius. You're meant to be official lyrics and you, you failed me. Vocal cover, male. <laughs> Oh, I love this iMovie editing come through. Actually, it looks the same as my other. I'm not even. Mm. People look at me and they tell me where more my bogo nigga na la liga deo. I'm sorry, I don't care, don't care, really don't care. Because 사랑도 위해 몸을 지나 찬두르면 말아대. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. I think this was definitely a cover fail for me. Itzy songs, I think they need a bit more time than three hours to work on. And, oh, my Itzy covers. This is what I was talking about. They're, my old Icy one, my Tala Tala cover is something else. It's very, very harsh. You're too amazing. I'd also like to point out that wink at 133 is everything. That, w that wink was not good. Like, let's just... I don't know why I did it and I, I still cringe myself today. I'm actually about to sweat. That's my friend anyway, so... Props to you. Go watch her channel, please. She's talented. Oh, wasn't it? Okay, thank God. You know, it wasn't as bad as I remember it to be. So that's, that's, that's something, but still. But this is when my covers kind of went, they kind of went downhill from here. I feel like I should recreate one of these. If you want me to recreate one of these, please leave it in the comments and I will. This cover that I'm about to show you is something that's actually really close to my heart because it was my first cover ever that got over 20,000 views and it's uh, Tonga um, Gotta Go. Can we just point out the contacts I used to wear in my videos? I used to wear these really uncomfortable like circle lenses and honestly, why? Because I think I damaged my eyesight a bit. Do not do that because I didn't know the lyrics and I wanted to kind of branch out a bit. I still didn't in this video. Like I wanted to kind of move back from the mic like. So I got my dad on his MacBook to hold up the lyrics and scroll down as I'm singing the song. Well, lip sync into song, yeah. One problem I have with a lot of my old covers is my pronunciation isn't the greatest pronunciation ever. Obviously, because I'm not Korean, I don't know the language, but like, there's a lot of like, obvious problems in my old covers and that's why I'm kind of like oh I redid my icy cover because of the pronunciation and the whole point that it was terrible but like I would like to kind of redeem myself with some of these even though I think they're okay they're quite good it's just I find this so many things I would change now <laughs> I love how when you can watch all of my old videos, I'm wearing like the same outfits I do in all my videos now Because clothes who needs to buy them not me. Yeah, thank you for watching Um, if you want me to redo any of these covers just put it down in the comments because it's like Christmas time I don't think there's many like great comebacks that I can do a cover for like I'm definitely going to do a cover for Red Velvet's comeback But apart from that, there's not really many that's coming out that are like ooh, you know 
And also, I just want to say again, thank you for being with me for a year, because... Honestly, I'm shocked. Don't know why you stayed long, but love that for us. Thank you for watching this video. Um, do whatever you want. Like, subscribe, comment, I guess, if you want. I mean, it's your choice, your life. That's about it. Thank you, anyway. Um, love you all. Goodbye. Bye. Love ya. Bye.